Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm going to teach you another song using those same basic few chords that literally every song has buried in it. This one's by U2. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. So if you've seen the movie Sing 2, it's coming up a lot. So that's a great song. It's an easy strum along. You can sing along. I'm going to transpose it a bit to use the basic G, D, and C chords that we've been learning. But at the end, I'll also show the actual key that it's in in case you want to play along with the record. So we're going to use our G chord here. So again, we'll use the voicing that we go through in the other lessons. We'll anchor our index finger, or we'll anchor our ring and our pinky on the third fret of the B and high E string. And we'll play a G. When we go to a C, we're just going to notch it up to a one string up to the C add nine and then a basic D chord. So you'll hear me keeping time with that song. I've got a floor mat down here, plastic floor mat under the chair. You can hear me tapping along with that. That's more important than anything when you're first starting out, just tapping your foot along with the beat. So one, two, three, four, even, your, even that hand going with your foot. So let's go through it real slow here first, starting with the G. I have climbed highest mountains. I have run through the field only to be with you. There's a C. Only to be with you. Back to the G. I have So there you go, your verse, we play it on a G. It's G and C at nine. So your verse is, I have climbed the highest mountain. I have run through the fields only to be with you. Only to be with you. So that verse is all that G right back to a C. Most of it's G. Only to be with you. Only to be with you. We don't really get to a difficult change until you go from the G to a D when the chorus hits. So you go to a D right there at the beginning of the chorus. In If you want to leave those two fingers anchored and you can play a kind of D suspended chord, then you can just move those two fingers. So go from that G. You really don't even need that middle finger. So you go from a G, move your index finger to the G string second fret. And you can either take your fingers off the D, off of the high E string completely, or leave it on the third where it was anchored or play a standard D. A lot of room for, there's a lot of room for interpretation there. And really when you're playing it by yourself or even along with the song, it's all about what feels good, so. Now 
know, you watch on that strumming, so I'm starting out, I'm just tapping with my, tapping with my foot. You're hitting those accents where I'm hitting the strings hard. That's where they're putting the emphasis on that note in the song. The key to strumming is always keep your foot and your wrist moving. I don't get worked up about patterns, whether you're going up or down, what number you're counting on. My foot's going and my hand never stops. My hand is always going in eighth notes and I'm just using my hand to put those accents where they need to be. So you can play along with the song like this without even playing a note. Once you get comfortable with that, I have climbed the highest mountain I have run through the field Only to be with you Only to be with you In steel and found We're looking for Last thing I'll go over on that before we go to the other voicing, the actual voicing on the song. You see, I'm doing a little a bit of ear candy there. So anytime I'm on a G or a C add nine, I'm using that index finger and I'll strum the strings and I'll hammer on my index finger onto the second fret. So you'll you hear this a lot in country. A lot in rock. So if I'm playing a G or a C add nine, for example, instead of just playing with my fingers all anchored at once, I'll start with my index off. And as soon as I strum, I'll hammer it on the second fret of the D string. So. Do that on a G too. experiment with that move those that index finger around experiment with open string and hammering on the second fret when you're on a C add nine or a G major adds a lot of flair to your songs now let's talk about the other voicing the actual voicing of this song playing along with Bono and U2 on the record so I'm on a standard tuned acoustic I'm gonna put a capo on the first fret and when I refer to the chords here, when I refer to the chords, I'm gonna be as if this was not on the first fret. So if I'm, if I say a G, that's not actually a G because it's a fret up. So you get that. Uh, it actually starts on a C. Then there's a variation of an F, F sus two, F suspended two which is first fret B and high E string and the D string is on the third fret. G is open. So it's like you're playing an F, but you lifted up your middle finger and there's nothing on the G string. And 
the rest is uh, C, C, C. And instead of going to the D uh, in the actual voicing in the chorus, we're going to a G. So let's start through, this is the actual voicing here. So we'll start on that C. I have climbed the highest mountain. I have through the fields only to be with you. Only to be with you. I have Again, that's just a C. It's an F suspended too, so you play an F, an easy bar F, but you take your finger off of the G string. So instead of F, it's and then a C. And the chorus goes to a G. Back to the So if you wanted to play along with that song with you 2 on the record, impress your friends, you're at a party, you're playing along with what's on the radio, what's on, what Siri is playing, what Alexa is playing, go ahead and capo up and play those chords. If you're just playing around a campfire, you're playing at home, if I'm playing this out live at a gig, I'm going with these bread and butter G, C, and D chords. One. They're easier. I don't have a lot of finger movement here. My fingers are hardly moving at all. And the key of the song, you can sing it in a lower register so your voice can last through a whole gig. So there's a lot there. Finger movement, minimizing finger movement, lowering the key of the song so your voice can stand out first several hours of playing, whether you're at home or at a gig. All right, so that's U2's Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For. Hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments which version of that song would you like to play the best, the GCD or the actual key with a capo. And also drop me a comment what song you want to hear next. I'd love to do these more often through the weeks. If there's a particular song you're struggling with, let me know in the comments. I'll try to get a lesson up. If you dig my style and kind of what you're seeing here, I've got a free mini course available. It's at the link in the description down below, just playalongguitar.com. Hit that, go ahead and take that free mini course. It's gonna take you through, how do you even look up the chords to these songs? How do you get going? If you're a beginner, how would you even start playing along with that song? How would you build up the strumming? We went through a little bit of it today on this song. A little bit of that mindset, but that'll get you going. And if you really dig that, I've got you covered there too. We can go deeper on my full flagship course uh, to teach you everything you need to know to play along with your favorite song. So again, links in the description. Let me know what you want to hear next and happy strumming.